Have you ever found yourself staring at a NumPy array, wondering how to rearrange its elements? It can be a bit tricky, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle how to move all elements greater than zero to the left or right in a NumPy array. I totally get it. Working with arrays can sometimes feel like solving a puzzle with missing pieces. You're not alone in this. Many people struggle with similar issues when trying to manipulate data in Python. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I right justify or left justify the elements greater than zero in my NumPy array? They provided an example array and it looks like this. Let's dive into this together and find a solution. So what does it mean to justify elements in an array? Right justification means moving all non-zero elements to the right side of the array, while left justification means moving them to the left. This can be useful for data organization and analysis. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that will make working with NumPy arrays even easier. To begin solving this problem, the user should first import the necessary library, NumPy. This library provides powerful tools for working with arrays in Python. Next, the user needs to create the NumPy array with the given values. This can be done using the NumPy array function. Now, to write justify the elements greater than zero, the user can use a combination of NumPy functions. First, they will create a mask for the elements greater than zero. After creating the mask, the user can then apply it to the array and use the NumPy function to sort the non-zero elements to the right. Finally, the user can print the right justified array to see the result. This will show the elements greater than zero aligned to the right. Fun fact, did you know that NumPy is named after the word numerical Python? It's a powerful library that makes numerical computing in Python a breeze. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by a user involves using a vectorized approach with masks in NumPy. First, create a mask for elements greater than zero. Then, sort this mask to justify the elements either to the left or right. Finally, use this justified mask to assign values into a new output array. The user also provides sample runs demonstrating the function. For left justification, the output array shows non-zero elements shifted to the left, while for right justification, they are shifted to the right. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. An alternative approach suggested by a user involves using the NumPy partition function. They assume that each row contains at least one zero and no negative numbers. The partition function rearranges the elements, effectively moving the zeros to the left while keeping the non-zero elements on the right. right. However, it's important to note that this method shuffles the rows, making it slightly less effective than a simple sort. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative solution provided by another user involves defining a function to move elements in the NumPy array. This function checks each row for positive values and sorts them either to the right or left based on the specified parameter. The user demonstrates how to call this function, showing results for both right and left justification. The output confirms that the function successfully rearranges the elements as intended. Here's the quick tip I promised. Always remember to check the shape of your arrays before manipulating them. This will save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to right justify and left justify elements in a NumPy array. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video where we'll dive deeper into NumPy functionalities.